Yeah, Stephanie, the crash sent her to Methodist, and that's when those thieves broke in, ransacking her home while she was on a hospital bed. At Dorothy Young's home, you'll find shattered glass and broken doors. The place had been ransacked. The images of a burglary and a burden on her already broken heart. No. Her husband, Derek Young, killed in a crash on Thanksgiving Day. Saddest day of my life from now on. Now. She and their two little boys were in the car with him when their vehicle collided with another at Third and Mallory. Police haven't said what caused the wreck. I remember I woke up. The ambulance was picking me up off the ground. Rushed to the hospital where she found out her kids were okay. But her husband didn't make it. When they put him on the table, he died. Dorothy had four surgeries in the days that followed. My neck was broken, and my pelvis, my hip bone was broken. Her time away from home giving burglars a chance to break in and steal a bunch of stuff, including three TVs. They also took her truck parked in the driveway. So I was like, man. It happened a day after the crash, the damage discovered by her neighbors who broke the news. I don't know who stole the stuff. You know, I have no idea. And neither do police who haven't made any arrests. Now this widow is grieving the loss of her husband while recovering from her injuries, dealing with all of this, and now mounting debt. I got bills, Medicaid bills, and my children taking care of my kids. They need Christmas stuff. I don't have no money for that. He was the breadwinner of the family. Her husband was 54. His funeral was this past weekend. We, of course, will let you know if police track down those burglars. Live in South Memphis, Andrew Ellison, WRH News, Channel 3.